when Google introduced the Pixel 8 series back in October, it showed off some cool features which were available at a later date. One of these features I was really looking forward to was the Video Boost, which should improve especially videos at night. In this video I want to show off this feature and compare it to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which is shooting really good quality videos which is one inch sensor at night. So let's compare both cameras and see which one is better. First things first, Video Boost is just available while using the main lens so we have to we can't use the front facing cameras for this so let me also rotate the gimbal on the osmo pocket tree and here we are what i see now on the pixel 8 pro will of course not be the final product you have to first film what you want and then it will later upload to google photos and there the clip will be done on the cloud google will use its magic and then you will get a notification whenever your clip is done and then you can see in your gallery the difference between both clips i will show off of course the boosted version but also compared to the non-boosted version and of course also to the dj osmo pocket 3 using the video boost option comes with some limitations for example zooming is limited to one and two x zoom you can't get anything else in this but it is the same what you get on the osmo pocket tree and you can just record that's up to 30 frames per second or I think even just 30 frames per second and so 4k60 is not available and of course you can not use the front facing cameras as I said before so I am walking down the stairs video boost should also increase the stability so let's see how this will improve And here a quick side by side of the Pixel 8 Pro, one time the normal video and one time with Video Boost activated. So now I have the low light profile on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 enabled. Of course the video boost is running on the Pixel 8 Pro. Let's just flip around the gimbal here and check out how the video boost will fare against the low light profile of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So now I deactivated the low light profile again on the DJ Osmo Pocket 3 and um, not recording myself. Unfortunately, as I said before, you can't use the front facing cameras. So I can't really see now this time what's happening on the Pixel 8 Pro. I have active track now enabled on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So with this enabled, the camera will always keep the focus on me. I just now moving the tripod which I have in my hand and the pixel is totally filming somewhere else but the DJ Osmo Pocket 3 is staying in my face and now let's one time check out the audio quality the Pixel 8 Pro 
has speech enhancement enabled. This time I'm talking direct to the onboard mic from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I have this wireless mic here with me. Let's turn this on. I'll attach it here. So it says now it is connected. So now the audio should be coming from the DJI wireless mic here. Tell me which one sounds better. Is it the Osmo Pocket 3 with on mic? The wireless mic 2? Or is it the speech, speech enhanced Pixel 8 Pro? Just some more footage now in 4K with 30 frames per second. I have the DJI mic 2 still connected now. Fortunately, you can't really change many settings while using the video boost but I do hope that it really will boost the video the way it was shown on the presentation back in October let's find it out together later A little bit zoomed video here. It's now at 2x on both devices. And another side by side from the Pixel 8 Pro was a video boost. It's really crazy how much more stable and better looking the video became after the boost is applied. So thanks for watching this comparison between the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and the Google Pixel 8 Pro. I hope you liked this video and please subscribe for more videos in the future. I have a video regarding the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, the iPhone 15 Pro and the S23 Ultra coming out hopefully very soon. Until then, stay healthy, see you soon.